And this is an example of someone who's putting their dream into action. She created this film, Our Kind, and it was a project in class. And uh, she has developed it um, over the course of time and is now turning it into a passion project. It's incredible what she's doing. And this is an example of what it is I teach. So I'm so proud of you because you are the proof of concept, if you will. And you also are the return on investment. So continue with your successful uh, journey towards making this film a reality. And I support you 100%. And uh, I hope a lot of people will get behind you and help you make this dream come true. Being an activist for a very long time, it's just important for us to always speak our truth, to acknowledge what has happened, and that for us to go forward, the only way we can is through loving each other and finding a way to love those who do not love us. That's the challenge. That's really the challenge. And finally being a part of something that's gonna change someone's life potentially is, is great. And the reason why I love this piece so much and I can connect to it at a personal level is because I grew up uh, with, with mental illnesses as far as, you know, having difficulties in school, you know, maybe not on the spectrum, but in the sense that I would be in rooms separate the classroom because, you know, my brain worked differently or, you know, I, I felt, you know, kind of outcasted sometimes and being able to overcome that and, you know, and develop and mature is, is not easy. So seeing people who struggle with these kind of issues, like not. It's hard for Hector to understand um, uh, what is being said to him. You know, there's a couple moments in the script where there are some derogatory terms um, uh, towards us, not just me, because I'm not just me, I represent everybody um, of Puerto Rican descent, Latinos, and, and my brothers and my sisters. Are you aware that for generations after slavery, Black Americans have been beaten, incarcerated, left out of systems of housing, economics, education, and occupation? We've been subjugated by law enforcement and communities we were herded into by government policies targeted for chemical warfare and more? Well, the media, but when NWA came out with F the Police, um, I think that just like this George Floyd video that everybody saw, you have a whole group of people across the country and across the world who did not relate to the fact that you're getting stopped every day, that you're getting harassed by the police and all that, and they didn't believe it. We all in this collective are stepping into a generational pot, right? We're dealing with generational, honestly, curses that financial, educational, mm -hmm. um, honestly, the, the byproduct of 500 years of slavery just run downhill in different pockets. Black males, listen up. When it rains, don't put your hoods up. Always walk, hands up, my last advice. Good luck. I mean, what more can you tell your son? Will you see trouble run? Run him and make him more suspicious. Same story, repetitious. You see in many eyes, he's a thug or a criminal. Messages are subliminal, but the pictures are very clear. Niggas, we don't want you here yelling. And we have to work to dismantle that system because the way it was built was basically to criminalize black bodies. And she was like, he should have on a white polo at all times so that he can be identified as preppy. But the, the penalty for not being preppy is not death. Like, I don't care what anybody else is doing. I know networking, whatever, I, I need to net, network this. The love is real. And when you see your brother and you see your sister and they looking good, you gotta just give that love to them.